Hey, I'm Nick Boy and welcome to Pocket. And today, I'm going fishing. Oh, it's much easier. Fishing Planet is the latest AAA blockbuster fishing simulator by Fishing Planet LLC. Now I figured in order to play this game properly, I need to be prepared. So, I brought my esky of fishing treats. I've got uh, my net. I've got some crepe lures. I've got a fish I caught earlier. And I've got my wading boots. So I think I'm ready to jump in and catch this guy, a buddy. God, it rides up. Approach the shoreline. Hey, it's me! Make a cast with your fishing rod. So that was Fishing Planet. Look, I normally would never ever play this sort of game, but I have played about 40 minutes more uh, than you've seen, and the game is actually much deeper than I may have just let on. 
There's a bunch of fishing game here, and it gets really specific down to the fact that you need fishing licenses for specific places that you want to fish. What kind of bait are you using? What kind of time of day is it? Where is the current? How warm is the water? It's just a crazy amount of, of fish talk in this game, most of which I don't understand. The game at the moment is free, and it looks like the devs are going for a freemium model. So you can either earn cash by catching fish, or you can use real world money and just level up faster by getting a stack of money so that you can buy all the lures and rods that your, that your little nerdy heart desires. You also gain experience and level up for each fish that you catch. It doesn't seem to be a huge amount. It's kind of like one point per fish that you get and you need like a hundred to get to the next level. But you will need to hit those next levels to go to new places to fish. But remember, you're gonna need to buy that fish license because you don't want to be some sort of digital fish criminal. Now, as for the actual gameplay, it's pretty boring. But I don't blame the game for that. I lay the blame squarely at the feet of fishing. Fishing is kind of boring. It's relaxing, but there's not there's not a lot to it all the time. And the game completely captures that. And it's all represented on screen rather well with the UI. There are sort of graphs and levels that you can keep an eye on uh, so that you know what's going on. But if you think that that is a cop out and you're a real fisherman who for some reason is fishing at a computer, then you can turn the whole HUD off and just go the full pure fishing experience, uh, which is great because the game is actually rather pretty. The water looks fantastic and there's, you know, lots of birds and crickets and noise around you, so it, it's quite immersive. And I feel like the whole experience is here, except for the best and worst parts of fishing. The worst part is that you're not covered in sticky fish guts, but the best part is when you're sort of doing that tug of war with the fish and reeling it in, and that's currently not in the game. I can just imagine if the game had VR support and some sort of force feedback controller, then this would be as close to the real thing as you could possibly get. And if that day ever comes, you are never seeing your dad again. All right, Pocketeers, that's it for today's episode of Pocket. Nick Boy, out. Just gonna kick back in the fishing overalls. Oh, shit. <laughs>